It's one of the culinary world's longest running hits. An award-winning international blockbuster. The table is ready. Please, one more. Oh, Starring a dynasty of Italian oh, leading the men. Of you have an invitation. Thank you. With strong supporting performances from a talented pool of critically acclaimed pros from around the world. They all help raise the curtain seven days a week at New York's fabled Le Cirque 2000. Right now it's about six o'clock in the morning at Le Cirque and preparations for today's two shows, lunch and dinner, are already well underway. Now, hundreds of highly satisfied diners are going to leave here today raving about the exquisite food and service. But what does it take to stage all this? It starts quite early in the morning, about six o'clock. The first people that comes in are the ones that who receives all the merchandise that uh, we get in every single day. So first we're going to see here, the produce just came in. James is the sous chef and he plays a very important role in the morning because he's the first uh, of the supervisors of the kitchen that comes in, so he has a lot of responsibilities. This is really harvested last night. He checks the quality of what that comes in, all the produce that we get in, the fish, the, the meat. And then those that prepare the, all the vegetables, all the sauces, they are very important, those because the quality it starts from scratch, it starts from there. For all the cooks coming in and start to do the setup, what they all need for the lunch service and the dinner service. Everything starts every day from scratch. The sauces and everything, it takes a lot of time of preparation all the cutting of the fish, the meat, the, the, the cleaning of the salads, the vegetables. Well, Jens, we're here deep in the kitchen, and what's going on now is really the basis of so many of the very best of the Cirque's dishes, the stocks. That's right. That's, that's the secret. That's the secret in all the dishes. Because we don't want to use any paste, and we don't want to use water. The bones came in today, 300 pounds. This is the first batch we do today. He's making veal stocks, he's making chicken stock. We call it the gold. It's the gold of the chef. Francisco comes in every morning at 6 o'clock, 6.15, and the first thing he starts to do is the creme brulee for the last 25 years. So our creme brulee is always the same, day after day, and it's so delicate, and it's so inviting to eat that it's incredible. Okay, brand new people. The front of the house is just as busy as the back of the house. The first thing in the morning we have a person come in that answers the phone. It is very important that we control the reservations because we don't want to end up okay, to have too many tables. Much. Thank you for waiting. And of course when the waiters come in they give direction what to do with all the setup, all the mise en place for the tables and the dining room and the florist comes in the morning to set all the fresh flowers. It's a teamwork of so many people involved to doing all different jobs. So there's about 140 people working in here. Teamwork is the, the key to everything. At this, at this stage, um, an hour and 40 minutes before the doors open at, at 11.30, what's the most difficult thing for you? Um, I would say now is we are close to the, to the cooks, because every station has specials. We check everything, we taste everything. We make sure they have everything for the specials, they have everything for the a la carte menu. Now we have to get picky. Okay, right now I'm cooking my sauces. Uh, this is the mushroom sauce with chanterelles, porcini mushrooms, garlic thyme. At this point in the day, a couple of hours before lunch, what's the most difficult thing for you, the most challenging um, thing? You have to have as many things going as possible. That's definitely the most difficult thing. If you can have 10 to 15 things going at once, that's what you want to do. Um, right now we have, you see, six different sauces. This is like for, for every single meat we have on the menu, we have a special sauce. This is called a sauce bordelaise. The bordelaise sauce. It's a classical French red wine sauce, a reduction sauce, of course. It's a veal stock base with shallots, red wine, port wine, spices, a bouquet garni. Uh, if we reduce it down, probably in this amount, it's about half a case of red wine and half a case of port wine. Just for you to, to, Twelve bottles to picture in, it, yeah. In, in yeah, this in one this gallon. Match, yeah. At the heart and culinary genius of the Cirque's award-winning menu is executive chef Sotha Kuhn, who's been turning out hit after hit. Today's special is gratinated lobster with sliced ruffles. Okay. Please, uh, Thank like you. like to taste it? Of course. Nothing like having a little snack in the kitchen. 
A pause in the action for a deep breath and a family-style lunch one half hour before the doors open at 11.30. Sergio, the restaurant opens in eight minutes at 11.30. Yeah. We saw you putting the specials actually in the menu. What are you doing right now? Right now I'm studying the special and uh, see which special I should suggest and uh, whatever the chef prepared for the day. At 11.30 sharp, the curtain rises for lunch. All the cast and crew are in their places, and the director and leading man, Sirio Maccioni, is ready to meet his clientele like he's been doing all of his life. We are here to please people. I'm here, my son are here, Benito, Mario, two great chefs. My mission is to make you feel comfortable, the people that otherwise they would not be uncomfortable because the people that they know who they are, they don't need it. So the people that come from the first time, they have to be able to, to make them feel comfortable. The insecure, to make them feel secure. And then they come back. Thank you. Enjoy dinner. Fire, a soul, a lamb medium, a freak. We are very demanding towards the kitchen on what they send out. Everything has to be just perfect at all times, every single dish. You see how we play, we use little tweezers, yes. and if you don't have to touch the food, you know, try to go clean. When you go to see a Broadway show, uh, some people like particular shows for the scenes, for the music, for the sound, for the words, for the dance. And the same is here in the restaurant. Uh, people enjoy different uh, aspects of the restaurant. It's not only the food itself. The food only comes to, for a certain part, but the ambience. The ambience is extremely important. Uh, when you come in and you see a happy place, you see a fun place, you see a, a place that is full of people, uh, people that uh, enjoy themselves and makes you feel good. No visit to Le Cirque would be complete without experiencing one of their incredible desserts. When the dessert arrives on the table, you have to be spectacular. You have to be, you know, you have to be like an explosion. This is the fruit tart. It's the prefix dessert today. No matter how rushed you are, you have to stay pretty calm while you're doing this, don't you? Yeah. Chocolate uh, dessert, everything is on cho in chocolate inside. It's a caramelized apple in the center, and she's going to put a scoop of uh, Mirabel sorbet, apple chips. So timing is very important. This is the good stuff, huh? When you see some of the desserts, the way they are presented, and then you taste it, and they're so light, they're not so sweet. If you like to have even more, Here is a teamwork. Everybody's involved, everybody helps each other. A dedication that is unbelievable of spending 15, 16, 14, 18 hours a day, every single day. The dedication that every single employee that works here has to give. Not only because they make a very good living, but also because they want to, because they like it, because they want to work with us. Well, right now the curtain is down, and this is a much needed intermission between lunch and dinner where we can expect some costume changes by key players at the front of the house, some rewriting of the menus by the chef, and a standing room only crowd at the bar and for dinner. Tonight is going to be one of those nights. Because in about one hour the madhouse begins. It's going to be a regular Le Cirque night, wild and crazy, just like cereal likes it. I have a small uh, party in the, at the chef's table in the kitchen. We have about um, 300 plus reservations in the book, so it's going to be uh, really crazy here. Lots of celebrities. You are at the center of the world in a strange way when you get Why would you have your book party of all places in the world at the Cirque? Because I knew Cereal when he was a waiter in the old Colony restaurant, and I was writing us the song. What do you 
like about the Sir, Sir David Frost? The atmosphere of the Sir, the food of the Sir, and the fact that the people who run the Sir know everybody who's here gives it gives it a special atmosphere. So the food is good, but as they say in the books, the ambiance is just as good. It's a happening. It's not a restaurant. It's a landmark. It's a. There are certain places that become more than they claim they are. And this is one of them. All the people that come in here, they could pay my chef the same money that I pay and have his chef at home. If they come in here, it has to be a reason, all right? The reason is that they want to see who is who, what is what, and they want to be recognized. Sirio is an absolute professional. He brings the great talent, the best chefs they are. He has the best uh, of waiters and methodists. Let's go, Tenby. Don't go to a table because the star is there. Try to find out who made the reservation, who is supposed to pay the bill, and start to talk with that person. Then you say hello to the star. My most loyal customer happens with the beginning of a problem. If you want you know that there's a problem, you are able to go there, take care of the problem. Right away, the problem becomes positive. Very important, try to do better tomorrow. That's the reason, that's the reason that this place is what it is. Because one man, one vision, a sense of caring. Good night. Thank you. Good night, good night, thank you. So after 19 hours, the doors of the circa are closed and the stage is bare again. But activity in the restaurant doesn't cease because a crew of 10 will spend the next seven hours cleaning for tomorrow's big show. Anything else I can do for you guys? <laughs>